Okay, back, back in my walk, back at home. This is part four, and I wanted uh, to show a facility that uh, a gentleman I subscribed to, Farm Radio, uh, came to my hometown. A guy that I subscribed to that lives in eastern Massachusetts came to my town to save a bunch of vintage televisions and radios. And when I saw that he was coming here, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, that is so cool. So in his video, when he first made his first trip here, he was here in November, I believe, and then he did a video to come and pick up the stuff because the, the mill, which is right here on your right, uh, was closed. It was basically for storage, and it, uh, it, I believe the building's been sold, or I'm, I'm not sure what the, the family sold it anyways, Caridi. And the picture he showed was from Google Earth, I believe, in his video. And uh, there's the, I'm just about standing where that video, that picture was taken uh, when he put it on his video. That's where the vintage televisions were kept, around the back, along with uh, my uh, ex-worker, uh, Eric, that's an electronics uh, expert in VCR repair in the day, but uh, there it is, farm radio guy, I hope I try to take this video to his one, the original one, and uh, get my walk home here so I can get ready for work, but there it is. There's the mill where those vintage televisions were fortunately saved. And unfortunately the stuff, as most people know today, is just absolute garbage. I don't know if I ranted about it before, but uh, just not, not, it, there's no quality in anything hardly anymore. I mean, especially with radios. I mean, you can't just buy a nice decent AM FM radio anymore. Uh, radio TV phone, and I just mentioned that in one of his videos. And he's right, you can't. You can't just buy an AM FM radio. So, while well, the vintage stuff can still be repaired, or... And I just picked up some, uh... A couple of Pioneer, uh... SX203s from the 90s, early 90s, I guess. And one, uh, I don't know, one of them looked, I don't know, the, one is good, the other one I had to clean the, uh, clean the volume control, but that's typical. And not any, I didn't want an audio video ProLogic thing, you just a nice decent tuner with a, uh, I mean nice receiver with a decent tuner that receives well. And, uh, I found two SX203s on eBay. Uh, the first one I got, I think it was only 49 bucks. Uh, I'm very satisfied with that. And, uh, and, uh, actually, Farm Radio Guy would appreciate this. I actually have an antenna cut in the attic for FM. And I can, the station I know he, when he does his radio videos, uh, is 96.1 WSRS. And, uh, actually, that comes in very well in my attic. Kind of a neat uh, coincidence, I guess. Uh, comes in very well. Good FM stereo signal. No bleed over from local stations. Nothing. Just nice, clear FM stereo. Very hard to find a decent receiver nowadays. And I remember I had a, an Optimus one, which was made by Pioneer, which was the same. They look identical. Not, I can't see any difference up to the display. It was mine, the new one here is orange and mine was blue. I cannot find that particular receiver anymore. I should have kept it. I sold it. Anyways, uh, that's my rant for today. Just, I wish they would make good quality. You know, people don't want big stereo equipment anymore. Everybody listens to stuff on their phones and, you know, don't want CD players either. Everybody digital downloads everything. 
And I, I'll be guilty of that too. I don't download any music, but I, uh, I stream like iHeartRadio and tune in, which I'm actually doing in my on my actual working cell phone. This is just a Moto G, but uh, the EA very. Uh, and there's Taft Street actually. Farm radio guy went to uh, see Eric, so I know I know Eric well. I was really amazed that he actually came here to save all that vintage equipment. I hope he can get something out of it, uh, repair them, restore them. Uh, he picked up a shitload of uh, stuff. I think he made multiple trips here actually, so uh, it's kind of cool. But nobody wants any of that stuff anymore. It's, it's really a shame, especially if it's working and it's been restored and you can find parts for them. I'm hoping someday we'll get back to that, but I don't think so. I mean, everybody uses their phones for internet, music. Not so much the phone part of it anymore, but... Uh, so I got the two receivers at home. I think I maybe profiled one of them in a video of mine. But uh, very good working tuner in it. Good separation between stations and channels. And actually, here's the... Uh, Who's the other side of the Hoosick River? I didn't show any video through this area. Just don't fish in it. Like most of the snow's gone. So I'm gonna stop here. I'll do one more video before I get home. It's a shot of Mount Williams and Mount Hope. I think Mount Hope's on the left, Mount Williams on the right. And uh, we'll talk again. Thank you.